Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hey guys, I thought of bringing you some factorization, which is common in your exam and i will encourage you to grow to go through this um, example so that you can uh, then use the uh, some ideas to solve uh, similar problems now let us look at this kind of a problem given here it says fully factorize i mean factorize the following expression fully so when they say fully mean if you don't come to the end of that factorization you won't get your full, full marks and usually this question is around four marks. Now, how do you go about this? Um, just to expand it. So we are given that x to the power four plus x to the power three plus four x plus four. And whenever you are given four items, as you can see, this is item like, this is like one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Now, how do you approach that? The best thing to do is to factorize by grouping where you take the first two and kind of group and take the last two and count and kind of group. So that is what you're doing. I'm just um, putting it like that because everything is a positive sign. So it doesn't change anything. So now when we have done that kind of a thing, what do they need to uh, need to look at is in the first two, what is common? Now you have got x to the power 4 and x to the power 3. You focus on the smallest exponent or the smallest number in the powers, which is 3. So you take out that x to the power of 3. Now when you're doing that, what you're simple saying is when I'm taking out x to the power of 3, so you'll be having your x to the power of 4 and your x to the power of 3. So what whatever you're taking out means you're dividing by x to the power of 3 again you're dividing by x to the power of 3 so that's what we're doing so in this case x to the power of 3 and x to the power of 4 you will cancel all the 3 until only 1 is remaining but the x to the power of 3 will cancel with the x to the power of 3 so that you can get a 1 here but in here you'll remain with 1 of the x because 3 of them cancelled from the 4 so when you write your answer it will be x, you can say x to the power of 1 or just x is still fine. And then you have got plus 1. And then similarly in the last two, you have got 4x and 4. So it means now 4x and 4. You can see that 4 is common in both, uh, both of them. So they cancel the 4 to remain with the 1. And 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So in this case, you are going to have plus 4, which is x plus 1. Now, as I said, you can remove that power is still the same thing. So now watch your brackets. You have got x plus 1 in the first bracket. You have x plus 1 in the second bracket. That is what you have to achieve whenever you are factorizing by grouping here. So what we did don't forget you need to come up with two brackets which are the same it is always the case because what we need to do now is to take that bracket as x plus one and what is outside the bracket you have got that and we have got that so this is outside the bracket and that is also the second bracket that we're going to come up with, which is x cubed plus 4. 
So this is how this factorization um, is done. And then at this stage, you need to continue and ask yourself, I've got x plus 1, and then I've got x cubed plus 4. You ask yourself, can this be factorized further? Um, and you can see that this is the end of x cubed plus 4. Then your final answer will be that. So this is then the final answer where you have factorized fully. So how will they mark you there? They will mark you on these two brackets. They will mark you on what you left outside and the final answer to that. And as I said, it looks simpler, but don't forget this is about four marks. So you need to grab everything in your exam. I hope this was of benefit to you. Now to get more of these videos, remember to press the like button on our Facebook or on our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we post. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website and trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.